Welcome to the Show Studio Shop. I'm Carrie Scott, the director and curator, and I'm pleased to present Nick Knight's newest body of work, Flora. Flora is a project that began in the 90s when Nick and his wife gained access to the Natural History Museum's herbarium. There, they keep six million specimens on archive, and Nick and his wife went through every one of these. It took them three painstaking years, and then they put together a book under the same name of Flora that was released in 97. 45 images were selected for that book, and from that, Nick then called down to 15 images that you see as part of the portfolio here on display at Show Studio. What's remarkable about these works is the scientific precision. What he's borrowed from the Natural History Museum's archiving of the pressed plants, he's then also managed to con convey in these 8 by 10 photographs. You have actual detail and presence in these works. Every sort of vein, line, color seems completely intact and present. You feel like the works are actually here, pressed in front of our eyes. But instead, you're looking at a suite of 15 images that all capture the, the range of diversity of plant life in the UK and capture this inalienable beauty that is innate only to nature. Nick's removed himself from the work, so he's not sort of um, interpreting or adding color or taking away color. He's just trying to provide a really true and honest document of what he found um, as he dug through this massive archive. Because the work was initially re released as, as a book and a, and a body of work, Nick really felt that that was important and he wanted to keep that intact with the release of these editions. So the work comes together as a whole. It's 15 prints that come in a limited edition portfolio box that we worked with a team in New York to build. And as you can see throughout the entire installation, Nick's really considered the way the pieces play off each other. It's not a single work, it's not a single print. It's 15 prints together that tell a story about the diversity and the beauty that is innate across the UK. Um, it's, it's the juxtaposition of the bold pink of an orchid against the more muted greens and grays of a maple. It's about looking at the sort of range of color in, in the natural world and stepping back from it and saying that, that this is the most sort of exciting and beautiful um, way to, to see nature. Paired with the clarity and precision of Flora, Nick has also released a new, very exciting body of large-scale still lifes. Here, you see all the references to 16th century still life painting. You get a romanticism that only sort of Fragonard and the romanticists were able to paint. And you're looking at a photograph, or rather a hybrid between photography and painting. What you're seeing is a new process that has taken him about 10 years to create. It's something that introduces heat and water into the printing process, and so you get these major washes of color, these major sort of powerful um, aesthetic decisions that rip through what are traditional compositions. In the large-scale work, you are faced with uh, a question, really, where your mind can't negotiate between the difference of whether you're looking at something that has been manufactured on a computer or digitally manipulated, or if it's actually a painting. What makes them equally exciting is the way that, that light sort of jumps from them. In every composition, you've got these beautiful highlights against um, the sort of depth and, and even sometimes time, angst um, in the darker areas. It's, actually sort of breaking into a new genre that you, you can't call it photography and you certainly can't call it painting, it's both. Nick's also really pulling on a history of Vanitas paintings where he's looking at the fragility and the um, sort of life cycle of a rose. The compositions aren't fixed, you can sort of feel the way that these roses are beginning to die and as part of that history of Vanitas paintings, you, you've got a, a real um, interest in, in documenting a moment as it slips out of your life or slips out of your, your grasp and then really just capturing a single second in a life cycle. In these works in particular, you have a really formal composition um, with the glass vase 
sort of precisely coming out of the background against the, the chaos and the beauty of the roses. But then through them, you've got a sort of a, a ripping energy and um, a, a, a longing, a wistful uh, moment that's being captured through the, the pouring and the dripping and the pulling of the paint where the flowers are um, really becoming dismantled. You, you start to recognize that as a, as a composer of images or an image maker, he's really trying to show things as they are in flux, as they are shifting in a moment in time, never allowing them to be a fixed single uh, composition that tells a single story, but that really one that gives you a perspective you would otherwise miss. He's helping you see a little bit differently.